Hi, welcome to How to Tie-Dye Peace Sign Tie-Dye T-Shirt by MadeByHippies.com and presented on How to Tie-Dye.net. My name's Eric. I'm going to show you how to do it today. So you start out with your T-Shirt laying flat. Grab it by the middle of the collar and the middle of the bottom. Fold it in half. This way, the design only appears on the front of the T-shirt. If you do just do, if you fold it just straight in half, then you, the design will be on the front and back. It'll be a little harder to tie. So you fold it in half. I've already drawn the pattern on this one, but use your washable marker pen. Make sure it's washable, then it'll come out. And get a string on it. Hold it with your finger in the middle where you want your circle to be string acts as a compass and you draw your circle all the way around the half circle that's the outer pattern of the peace sign next you draw your line down the middle this line is going to be the middle line of the peace sign pattern next you draw the arm this is going to be on both sides of the peace sign, the two arms. So it's important you get the peace sign drawn correctly at this point. Later, when you make your tie-dye and wash it out, all the washable marker will wash out. This is only a guide to how to tie it now. So next, we're going to fold it. Start by pinching it, both sides, about quarter to half inch folds keeping the pattern, the line of the pattern, straight. That's what you want to concentrate on. Having all your folds have the line be straight. This way when you end up and you're dyeing it, everything you apply dye to on this side will be one color. And then you'll know where your line is here. And everything you dye on this side will be a different color. And it'll come out exactly how you want. This is the tying step in tie-dye. So once we have this folded, this represents the outer circle of the peace sign pattern right here. You get a rubber band. You hold it, pinch it right here, put the rubber band around it with your other hand, wrap it around a few times until it's tight. You don't need to do it, overdo it. Take another rubber band, put it about half inch to an inch lower, is going to be an outer circle to the pattern. And yet one more. Okay, at this point, flip your shirt over. So the part you drew, drew on before is going to be on the bottom. It's going to make it easier for you to fold. So next, grab the shirt. Start making the folds. This is the inside, the inside line of the pattern. The middle of the peace sign symbol. You want to get it folded and bunched up, basically right on top of that first rubber band you did. Now it should be even with all the bottom parts together. If some of these pieces are caught up in here, redo it until it looks good. Because if this part isn't right, the middle of the, your peace sign won't come out right and it'll look goofy. So the last step we got to do is the legs. So find your line, make small folds. So you have two distinguishable sections with your line dividing them. Now this represents the smaller bunch, represents the smaller section of the peace sign on the bottom, this larger part, the top. And you want to wrap it with your rubber band. And now what we want to do, we've got to think of when you're dyeing it, what's going to happen. We want to create a two color combo in this section. We want to have a black peace sign symbol with a different color 
say blue or red or something on the inside of the peace sign. So this is where your colors are going to be. This part right here is going to be the black part. So when you do your rubber band, you need to leave a little room on all this spot so that the black symbol can develop fully. And you dye here black as well. Past this rubber band, you want to do a different color and a different color than the main body of your t-shirt. There's a lot of options to do that. So that's the basic overview of how to tie-dye a peace sign tie-dye pattern by MadeByHippies.com. Check us out on the internet and check out our instructional website, howtotiedye.net. Peace!